हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड स्टेइंग सेफ विथ योर फैमिली मेंबर्स टुडे आई मिस अस्मिता दास सेइंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वुड लाइक टू वॉक इन टू द टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ केमिस्ट्री एंड दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री and all the science subjects are having different language but chemistry is having its own language and always some of you are thinking that chemistry is mystery today we will decode that mystery by seeing all these documents as well as the key pointers or the highlight pointers and the first one is element and the element and compound atoms and molecules if i'll write down here o o2 you will find out o is an atom and o2 is the molecule now you will see the difference that atom is having one year that is and molecule is having two that means molecule of oxygen is consist of two atoms and element and compound i am writing the example that is hydrogen and you can say these are all elements because the element is the simple and the pure purest form of matter which cannot be decomposed into simpler substances you can say that is hydrogen sodium na and you can say sulfur all these are the examples of elements but when you will take the compound that is co2 because it is consist of carbon and oxygen two different elements now we are going to atomicity that is the number of atoms present in the atom of that one you can see here i am writing here oxygen 1 and 2 that means the elements which are having one atom they are called as monoatomic and the elements which are having two atoms in their molecules they are called as diatomic and the elements which are having three atoms just like ozone o3 that is three oxygen atoms are present here that's why it is called as triatomic and the element that is phosphorus p4 that means phosphorus is having four atoms in the molecule hence it is called as tetraatomic and the last one that is octaatomic that is sulfur so you can write down that is s8 that means sulfur molecule consist of eight atoms now we can write down that is a symbol so here i have uh, shown you that is oxygen hydrogen sodium sulfur that the smallest abbreviation that you can take for these elements so here you can see in that powerpoint presentation that is carbon starting with c calcium starting with c copper starting with c cobalt is starting with c and chromium and chlorine these are also starting with c so there you have to take that the first and the second letter always keep in your mind that you have to take the first letter capital letter as well as the second one is the smallest one carbon you will not do so because carbon is capital letter only and if you are taking of chlorine c will be the capital letter and l will be the small one now you can tell what is the significance why you are using this symbols name of that element now chlorine is here and this consists of that is one atom and it is showing the definite mass you can take that is for nitrogen n nitrogen n is the atom which is having that one one atom in this but the molecular formula is n2 and the weight of this atomic weight is 14 that means 7 plus 7 7 proton and 7 neutrons are present so hence you can get that is for 14 the next one you will see molecular formula molecular formula means when you are writing nacl or you are writing this one is h2o and a cl that means it is consist of two elements that is sodium and chlorine 
the another one is Na2CO3 now you can see here n is capital a is small and this subscript is Na2CO3 that i will tell you after this that is what is valency and the crisscross method so what are the significance of this molecular formula that means we are getting this one from that one both molecules and molecular mass also it represents a number now you can see here number two sodium atoms are present here and one carbon atom is present here and three oxygen atoms are present here so this one in the ratio also that is respective mass and that is molecular mass you can get it so next to a uh, point is that you can get the example suppose you have taken this carbon dioxide and each molecule consists of carbon that is one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen present now i'll tell you the molecular mass how to calculate that is suppose you have taken co2 that means carbon is having 12 and that is two oxygen atoms that is oxygen already you know that is your 16 that means eight proton plus eight that is neutron and we are always neglecting the electrons so that will be 12 plus 32 that will be 44 amu that means atomic mass unit okay so next one that is valency and you know that valency means that is how to sharing this one why you are writing that is nacl nacl so here no a subscript we are keeping that means na is the element and cl is the element that both of the elements are they are having different charges how can you say that the charges the charges of the atom when I mean that is called as ions suppose i am writing here na plus that means this na given one electron to get na plus that means the last orbit is having 2 8 1 and here it is 2 8 that means it has given one electron when the atom is giving one electron or you can sharing one electron then it is positively charged and these positively charged ions are called as cations and the non chlorine is receiving one electron to complete its last octet now chlorine atom is having cash cell is 2 electron l cell is 8 electron and m cell is having 7 electrons so when it receive one electron then it will be satisfying its octet so 2 8 8 and cl minus cl minus means these type of ions are called as anions and the next one is your variable valency that means so many elements not all but few of them they are having two valencies for example here i have given that is fe2 plus fe3 plus that means ferrous us you will see the last one that is suffix if it is us then it is the lower valency and if it is ik that is the higher valency that means ion is having two valency and these elements are showing variable valency like this way q plus cu 1 plus cu 2 plus so you see 1 plus means that is q prick q plus o u s and this one is q prick like this way plumbus and plumbic and so many things are there so many elements are there so next one is radical now when you are writing the chemical formula you are finding that first part is the metallic part and second part is the non metallic part that means when you are writing this one na2co3 so this part is coming under radical radical means a group of atoms they are having a simple charges that may be positive charge or negative charge suppose i am writing here nh 4 1 plus or you can say that is plus that means it is a positive radical combined charge and this one carbonate is having two negatively charged means co3 is having two minus charge okay these are called as radicals now some of these compounds you can write down how to write down the criss cross formula and when you are writing this caso3 
how will you write down this CO3 or Na2 CO3 or Mg Cl2 so here it is given Mg Cl2 that means magnesium chloride Mg is having 2 plus that is the valency and chlorine or chloride ion that is 1 minus and there you will get this one with crisscross method that means 1 minus here and 2 plus but after this you will not write down that is the sign what is given there so it will be MgCl2 now there are different types of valency so we are finding out like this way but if both of them are having same valency then what you will do Ca2 plus and CO3 2 minus so there you will get crisscross after crisscross 2 minus and 2 plus that will be cancelled and you will be getting a CaCO3 this is the final version of the formula next that is your chemical equation now the formula you already covered so here I will tell you that how to write the chemical equation and first of all what is chemical equation because this is the symbolic representation of the chemicals that is according to the symbols or the formula suppose I am writing here H2 plus O2 simple formula that is H2O it will produce water hydrogen burn in presence of oxygen it will produce water but here you will find out this one is hydrogen here 2 the atoms of hydrogen here is 2 now you can see here LHS and RHS RHS means that is your reactant side which is called as left hand side and the product side here it is given the reactants and products that means whatever it is reacting in that equation or the chemical reaction that will be coming under the reactant and uh, what are the products are forming that is called as the products but here you can find out the atoms hydrogen is 2 here and hydrogen is 2 here and oxygen is 2 here but oxygen is 1 here that means this is not a chemical formula which is properly balanced now next you will find out suppose it is given out to, uh, to balance it you have to put it 2 here you will not put that one substrate and you have to put 2 here now it is changing into hydrogen is 4 and hydrogen is 4 and oxygen is 2 and oxygen is 2 now this is called as a balanced chemical equation now here also you can see the example is on the screen it is given 2 K N O 3 when it is heated you will find out K N O 2 plus O 2 now why this 2 is put here because that to be balanced now I am see, showing here how to balance this chemical equation because already it is balanced chemical equation is given on the screen you have to put the 2 here and this is the coefficient you will not disturb these subscripts only you have to write down that is your right you have to write down 2 as the coefficient only so here you will find out the reactant and product side that means LHS and RHS that is potassium 2 atoms so here is potassium that is 2 atoms and you will find out that is N is 2 and here is also N is 2 and oxygen is 2 3 is a 6 and oxygen is here 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 2 that is 6 ok already you understood and what the information we are getting from this balance equation because these equations are giving about the actual result of the chemical change ok what is the chemical change because the condition of this one is not known but what the new uh, compounds are forming that is giving about the reactants and products so here you have taken the reactant that is potassium nitrate when it is heated potassium nitrite this is ATE and this one is ITE so you can understand that one is potassium nitrate that is converted into nitrite okay then some of the limitations that means drawbacks are there also physical state we are not getting here it is not given that is a 
uh, gas or a liquid or a solid and the products also the same way and the time taken, how much time it will take for the reaction that is also not given. Then uh, another one that I will tell you, the molecular mass. What is the molecular mass? Now suppose you have taken. Now you see the mass of this one that is mass of two atoms of hydrogen is 2 into 1 that is 2 amu and the mass of one atom of sulfur is 32 and oxygen 4 atoms that means 4 into 16 that is 64 so total will be 98 amu and the next one that is the percentage calculation that how to calculate the percentage suppose you are writing water H2O you can get the percentage of hydrogen because these two elements are there and how to calculate this one total it will be 18 you find out here 1 into 2 that means hydrogen is having 2 mol atoms so 1 into 2 plus 16 that is 18 total total upon that means you can 18 amu and if you are calculating for hydrogen that is 2 upon 18 into 100 that will be 11.11 that is gram or percentage you can say that will be the percentage next one is your empirical formula this one the new term that you are adding here in class 9 empirical formula you can get that is suppose it is H2O2 that means hydrogen peroxide now see here is 2 o2 means this 2 that is the greatest common factor or you can say hcf so you have to divide this one that is 2 upon 2 and o2 upon 2 that means the empirical formula is h o and the empirical mass that you will find out that is h is 1 and the oxygen is 16 this is mass empirical mass that you are getting a 17 and this is the topic today's topic hope you will understand and you will be uh, well acquainted with these terms by this videographic session and I hope so many doubts that been cleared thank you stay safe stay home we'll